I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Ali LaForce in a moment. Here we go. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. Ball with it. On the wing to Rosen. 18 feet out. That's good on the jumper. For tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. And here's Caruso outside. Caruso. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. You know, Zach Levine is not just a scorer. He's really good at setting up his teammates, too. And finished off by Davis. Crazy hops. Pass to DeRozan. Over Vanderbilt. And the Bulls tack on two more. Assist title for LeBron. An incredible accomplishment for someone of his size. Clark. I bet you didn't know this, B.A., or maybe you did. But the only player taller than LeBron to lead the league in assists, Wilt Chamberlain. When you throw in winning the bubble championship finals MVP, 2020 might have been LeBron's finest season. And that one's good. Davis. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Another shot. Outside Russell. Pass to Reeves. Four on the clock. Here's Davis. Doesn't go that time. Now here's Vucevic. Here's Levine for three. Davis with a rebound. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense. The defense is not there. Here's DeRozan. Following the score by the Lakers. Over Vanderbilt. And the basket by DeRozan. DeRozan's got six. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. Games in that team. Now, here is James. Three-pointer. And it's cleared by Vucevic. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Levine, that one's good. Lakers, what made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in... Outside Levine. Over James. Levine can't hit. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Now, here is James. Six points for him. Here's Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. He has six. Well, LeBron James is clearly a tremendously talented passer. When a guy is open, he'll get him the ball. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Chicago. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top-five player all-time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into leagues, much less a high school. The Lakers with possession here. It's a five-point game. The three from Bamba. It's hauled in by White. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Outside, Williams. The three is up. That one falls. Coming off a drum and feed. To the paint. Knocked away. 
Bamba in the high post. Easily outside. Back to Bamba. Just five on the clock. And a fast break now for the Bulls. And he dunks it down. Oh, I like how Ben clever at getting past the defense. Pass to Schroeder. They need this. Out to Beasley. Screen by Bamba. And he connects with a jumper. You know, Grant, sometimes with certain flagrant fouls, you'll hear people say it was a dirty play, but not a dirty player. But when does it become both? Well, we all understand, B.A., dirty plays aren't good for the game. But sometimes a flagrant foul will happen. A lot of times fouls plays a big role in how it's perceived. Here's Bamba. Chicago grabs the miss. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. To the middle. And the basket by DeRozan. DeRozan still an elite scorer in this league and relentless in attacking the basket. Hachimura with room to shoot. It's good on the putback. Putting in the effort to get a second chance look. Nice. Chicago calls timeout. They got from Minnesota. Zach Levine, the headliner, and he's turned out to be a franchise player. It's tough to win one of those type of deals, but Chicago got a stud. A chance here to catch up with. Oh, oh man! Oh, oh, one. One. Bad mm. intentions! Mm. Mm. It never gets old seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. With power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with the no good on that one. At the line. Good on the second one. And for the Lakers, Clark, the last decade, they haven't been as impressive. Well, you know, B.A., there's a reason for that. They've missed more playoff games in the last decade than the franchise's entire existence. And a lot of it has been due to injuries. There's no lack of talent. LeBron took on the challenge, bringing the championship, and did not turn out as they were expecting. And a big part of it was injuries and real. Pass to Reeves. The shot no good. Levine with some nice D. Jones with the ball. The three ball. And it's good. Incredible. Here's Russell. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. And it's Jay. Now the Lakers moving it up. From behind the arc. Drummond grabs the miss. But Grant, it's obvious who's been in control of this game. You know, you really have to appreciate their relentlessness. Pass to James. Here's Reeves. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. Boy, still such an outstanding distributor. James takes great joy in finding his teammates in their spots. And so it's Chicago. We're closing out the quarter ahead. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Double team on James. Shot clock at six. Bamba. Hook loose. Here's Davis. And the layup is good area here. I mean, he knows he can score at any time from that position. Pass the ball. Oh, a clear foul there on the miss shot. It's a must to avoid fouling ball. I mean, he's excellent at taking it to the deep. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Pass to James. Vucevic with a steal. Caruso left side. And the dunk by DeRozan. Defense of a chance to contest. And the bench, they are absolutely loving that. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Tries again. 
And it's Vucevic getting it to go. On the offensive glass, seems to me that Vucevic has that extra sense of tracking down missed shots. Seems to just have a nose for the ball. And it's James with the jam. Outside Levine. Pass to DeRozan. Down low. Here's Caruso. Boy, DeRozan. Two minutes remaining in the third. Six on the shot clock. No good that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. And grab DeRozan. High volume from the mid-range and extremely accurate. You know, B.A., he consistently makes about half those shots. And defensively, you know that. But his ball handling and vertical negate anything you throw at him. And James gets it to go. How about this combination? The strength of a center and guard skills. LeBron James remains the game's most difficult wing to... It's off the clock. Outside White. And again, Chicago, no good. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Here's Davis from the low block. And again, it's... You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. From the high post, he hits the back iron and sinks it. Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. And here is DeRozan. 14 points for him. Over Bamba. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the... DeRozan has been a revelation of late. He's underappreciated by many, and I think that drives him quite a bit. The Bulls making a switch here. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Gets the three to fall. Hachimura's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. DeRozan outside. Four seconds left. Off the window. It's good. DeRozan's got six in the quarter. Boy, this is exactly DeRozan's role. He's a natural-born scorer, and he does it in a lot of different ways. And so it's Chicago. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. Really mucking it up on defense. Davis with it, and Drummond picks him up defensively. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Beverly with it. Outside, Williams. Back to Beverly. Double team on Drummond. Beverly outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And Drummond with the jam. There are a few men in the league that attack the glass as well as Drummond does. He's almost on a tenacious and ferocious off. A moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Second team. Pass to Davis. The three, James. And again, no good by the Lakers. Now Levine. 4-3. Offensive rebound. Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. Thrown down with force. Drummond with great feel around the rim.